Hello, it's day 50, which is halfway of the 100, give it 100.com challenge to, not really a challenge, but a progress report of my journey to find a job or to find a replacement income. And now I'm going to compare driving to procrastination. And I've, I've made a comment a few times before about cramming for an exam or a test or an, a, an assignment that's due. And although it was a long time since I've been in school, I still remember very distinctly that I would really leave most things to the last minute. And then I would study hard, or, well, wouldn't really. Then I would do them haphazardly, Not that's not even the right word, I would do them crappy just to get them done, submit them, and have them give me passing marks. So today while I'm driving, it's uh, Ontario spring, which basically means the first day of the year that it's above zero. Things start to melt and everyone's out and with their coats off <laughs> and their windows down. But it also means that the road crews are out and a lot of roads are being repaired. And there's a lot of lanes closed. But even without construction, in day-to-day -day driving, when we're driving along the road, we often see that our lane is going to end. Sometimes we see it a mile ahead. Sometimes we know it's going to end. Sometimes we see that, you know, this lane ends in 500 meters sign. And when driving, when I see those signs, I get into the other lane. But other drivers don't. And it, it just amazes me how people will drive in a lane that they can clearly see is going to end. And sometimes I test it, you know, I'll leave a huge amount of space between my car and the car in front of me, and they won't take it, they won't go in. They'll stay in their lane until the very last minute, then jam on their brakes and sit there with their signal until someone polite lets them in. Sometimes I do, because I like to be a polite driver, but sometimes just to spite them, it's like, no, you crazy person, I gave you your opportunity to get in now. I'm not letting you in front of me at this point. So, I guess life is like driving. <laughs> People want to stay in their lane. They don't want to change. They don't want to put the effort in until they have to. And I've said that in some of my other videos, that if I know something is going to be horrible in the future, like the penalty for not paying my rent, then I don't really let myself stress about it the whole time because why would I extend the horribleness? It's going to be horrible in the future. It doesn't have to be horrible today. The future's tomorrow. Let tomorrow Jeff worry about that, as some people have said. I wish I knew where that was from originally. Let tomorrow somebody worry about that. That's tomorrow somebody's problem. But as the time approaches, you can't ignore it. And you're a better driver if you get into the lane when you have the opportunity. And I suppose you're a better person if you prepare for things in advance and you don't leave it to the last minute relying on the, the politeness of others to let you in their lane, jamming on your brakes, inconveniencing everyone along the way. Life would be better if we, if we did the things we know we're going to have to do right away instead of waiting until the very last minute. I guess that's actually a, a wise philosophy for all of life. If you know something horrible is coming up, actually that's an interesting way of looking at it. I look at it, if I know something horrible is coming up in the future, ignore it until it, it's there, and then it'll be horrible for a short period of time, and I don't have the horrible anticipation of it. But the opposite is true. If I know something horrible is coming up in the future, do it right now. Get it out of the way. Then there's no stress, no worry, and you've got free time and free money. Actually, for this job, if I had found out that I was needing a replacement income, and the very first thing I did was go out and do all the stuff that I know I'm going to have to do anyway, then right now I'd be living with free money, I wouldn't have any stress, 
I wouldn't have made these videos. That's one downside, perhaps, although depending on how you look at it, an upside. I would be in a different place. I would have started my new life now. Hmm. Not going to happen, though, is it? <laughs> we procrastinate. We don't do things right away. Some people do. I'm not that person. In any case, day 50, a milestone of depression if I look at it negatively. Well, that's the only way to look at it, really. Day 50, and I've done maybe four hours work. Well, a little bit more than that. 50 days to do what I could have done in one day, though. That's the, the basis of it all. So, my name's Jeff Goble. This is my journey. Thanks for watching me on Frogstar TV.